To find the derivative of y with respect to x in the equation x plus y to the third equals x squared plus y squared, I'll have to use implicit differentiation. We have terms that involve factors of y and y to the second power, and I'm differentiating with respect to x. Additionally, I have a, uh, x plus y to the third power. I'll use the chain rule when taking that derivative. Starting with the derivative of the left side of the equation, x plus y to the third power, I'll use the chain rule, bring the 3 to the front, decrease the power by 1, and then chain along at the end a factor of the derivative of the inside of the quantity, the derivative of x plus y. Well, the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of y, since I'm taking the derivative with respect to x, I'm going to represent the derivative of y with respect to x with a, as a y prime. On the right side of the equation, the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of y squared is 2y. But again, because I'm differentiating with respect to x, anytime I differentiate a, a y, I have to include a factor of the derivative of y with respect to x, which is represented with a y prime. Now, th this problem is asking me to find the derivative of y with respect to x, which again is being represented with a y prime. So my final answer will be in the form y prime equals. So I have to isolate the y prime in this equation. And there's two. I see right now two factors of y prime, one right here and one right here. But the one on the left side of the equation is inside of the quantity 1 plus y prime. And that's being multiplied by x plus y squared. And it's multipl being multiplied by a factor of 3. So before I can isolate that y prime, I have to expand the left side of this equation to kind of get the y prime out of that quantity. So I'll begin expanding the left side of the equation by taking x plus y to the second power. x plus y to the second power, x plus y times x plus y is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And I've, I arrived at that product by taking x plus y times x plus y, distributing the x and distributing the y. I'm going to have to multiply that by 1 plus y prime, and that's equal to 2x. On the right, it's going to stay unchanged, 2x plus 2y times y prime. I now, on the left, have 3 times the quantity of x squared plus 2xy plus y squared times 1 plus y prime. There's a few ways to approach this expansion, but... The next thing that I'll do is distribute the 3 times the quantity of x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, which results in 3x squared plus 6xy plus 3y squared. And the final step to expand the left side of the equation is to multiply the trinomial 3x squared plus 6xy plus 3y squared times the binomial of 1 plus y prime. That can be accomplished by multiplying 3x squared times both terms, 1 plus y prime, multiplying 6xy times both terms, 1 and y prime, and then multiplying 3y squared times both terms. Doing that multiplication, there's a total of six multiplications to be done there. After doing those six multiplications, you're going to have 3x squared plus 3x squared times y prime plus 6xy plus 6xy times y prime plus 3y squared plus 3y squared times y prime. And the right side of the equation is, has stayed the same since I initially took the derivative of both sides. The next step in this problem is going to, be, is going to involve moving the y prime terms, the terms that include a factor of y prime, to one side of the equation and moving the terms that do not have a factor of y prime, which I'm underlining twice, to the other side of the equation. I'll go ahead and keep the terms that involve a y prime on the left side of this equation. And I'll move the terms that don't have a y prime term to the right side of the equation. Now there was a term that involved a y prime on the right already, 2y times y prime. I'm going to subtract 2y times y prime to both sides of the equation. And then there was already a 2x on the right side of the equation. That'll stay there. And then I'm going to have to subtract 
the three factors on the left that did not have a y prime factor. So the right side of the equation will become 2x minus 3x squared minus 6xy minus 3y squared. At this point, the four terms on the left side of the equation all include a factor of y prime. So I'm going to factor that out to the front. And that will result in y prime times the quantity of 3x squared plus 6xy plus 3y squared minus 2y. And that's equal to the right side of this equation unchanged. And the final step now to isolate y prime, the final step to get y prime by itself, is going to be to divide both sides of this equation by the quantity 3x squared plus 6xy plus 3y squared minus 2y. Because doing so will cancel out the quantity on the left side of the equation, leaving the left side y prime equals. And dividing, again, both sides of the equation by that quantity gives me the final answer, y prime equals 2x minus 3x squared minus 6xy minus 3y squared all over 3x squared plus 6xy plus 3y squared minus 2y.